Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Brent Bryson here giving you guys my updated sensitivity settings video uh, Just because I do have the new Xbox Series X So this is going to be my updated sensitivity video for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X um, Nothing really major has changed, but some things has changed throughout my sensitivity and stuff So uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it right quick um, I'm just gonna go like swiftly go through it right now if you don't want to hear my explanation about anything um, Here it is pause the video if you want to and yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it Cue the intro <laughs> You know how awkward that would be if there was no intro. Oh boy. Anyway, let's <laughs> Let's get right into it. Uh, so my controller preset button uh, is still type B uh, Don't mess with the custom I know that you could use a custom too, so you could press X to reload instead of hold X or square if you're on the PS4 or PS5 to reload. Um, I'm one of those players where if I already have my muscle memory set to it, I don't want to change it. So that's why I'm still in type B. What type B does, if you guys don't know, is you hold the left trigger so you could aim down sight and then, yeah, instead of tapping it and stuff. My invert X and Y axis is disabled. I know some OG Halo players has this on inverted or enabled but i'm not one of them my right stick dead zone is at 15 if you guys don't know i am using an xbox elite series 2 controller with the tightest uh stick tension for my right stick but there's still a little you know there's still a little what is that called there's still a little oh my god i can't remember what that word is um brief pause here but there's still a little stick drift for my right analog stick um so even if i have it on 14 that there's there's like ever so slightly a little stick drift so then i do have it on 15 which there's no stick drift at all my left stick analog uh my left stick dead zone is at 10 uh, just because that was the you know the default and i never really changed it uh, my vibration is on and at 10 because i do like having a vibrator in my hand when i play that sounded so wrong. I mean, I like feeling the vibration when I play. And <laughs> just, um, I don't know, something about having the vibration on when I play video games makes me feel more immersed in the game. If there's nothing on there, I feel like I'm not really playing the game. My forward running sensitivity is, I believe, on default 31. What the forward running sensitivity does is adjusts the sensitivity of the running stick. And then the higher it is, the easier it is to run forward. 31 has just always been, you know, my sweet spot for me. I never really changed it at all. The same with my movement sensitivity. I did bump it up to 100 because I'm not one of those players that likes to, you know, like, you know, walk slowly. It's either I stay put in one house and stay there for positioning or I run and gun. My vertical sensitivity multiplier, this is the, you know, this is the mashed potatoes, the, the meat and the potatoes of my whole sensitivity is 58. Uh, this helps you re uh, control recoil even that much more, especially if you do have a higher sensitivity for your scopes and everything. The only drawback that I've noticed with the vertical sensitivity multiplier is if it is low, like mine, if somebody, if, if, you're, if an enemy is like, you know, higher above you, it is going to be slower for you to flick on them, um, you know, with your vertical sensitivity multiplier this low. But I'm so used to it being 58, if I ever put it to 100, you know, the default or anything higher, my recoil is all over the place and yeah, I wouldn't be confident with my recoil control. My general sensitivity is at 20. I highly, 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 highly recommend everybody to try practicing um, your general sensitivity at 20. Uh, just because this is where all the flicks and stuff goes. So if someone is behind you and then you have to turn on them like really quick, 20 is practically the highest that you can ever go. Um, if, you're, if your general sensitivity is slow, you'll be too slow to um, look around to them. So I know it might feel a little awkward for those players who doesn't play in 20 sensitivity, but you know, higher general sensitivity is the best for PUBG, just for the flaking and everything. Um, my aim acceleration is disabled. I, don't, I like one constant speed when I have my scopes. Um, so that's why I have it disabled. I can't handle it being like, you know, rapidly getting faster and faster. I used to do have it at one, but uh, I didn't like it as much. Over the shorter aiming sensitivities at 12, same with my 1X and 2X, 4X, 6X and 8X, everything's at 12 as you, as you can see here. 12 is pretty much my sweet spot for my 
um, optic sensitivity besides my 3x my 3x is is, is a bit higher which is at 17 but just because i feel like the 3x is a little bit of slower of a scope so when i did have it at 12 it felt really slow leading other enemies so i did put on 17 and i got used to 17 and yeah i actually love it at 17. Now going for my gameplay, of course English, I have cross-platform play enabled because if you have it disabled, you will never find a game. But <laughs> much, uh, nothing much needed. I heard game DVR makes your game crash, but since I have the Series X and everything, um, I've just had it disabled throughout the whole PUBG, oh, throughout my whole PUBG career because I do record every single game that I play anyway uh, using my slobs. I don't really need the, um, the game DVR to for my xbox my kill feed is on graphic because i can't stand looking at text only it kind of hurts my brain uh, colorblind mode is at protonopia that's where you get blue blood so this is regular blood which is red deutonopia is i believe pink i believe it's pink protonopia is purple and tritonopia is orange blood i believe I do like red, as you can tell by my hair and everything on my character, so my crosshair is red. It's not the best, you know, crosshair for visibility. I prefer like, you know, green or purple or something, or blue, the one that stands out even more, but I, I like red. I have my on-screen button hints off, my network debug on, just in case I know if I'm lagging or not, being in a North or, you know, NA servers. Um, and being in the Pacific Northwest, my ping is usually ranged from 90 to 110. Compass background is disabled, enable or disable contrasting background on the compass. I, I believe I had it enabled before. I know I, I never really noticed it being disabled. Blue flash effects on glow. I believe glow is what it was before. Pulse, I believe you can see it better, but then I, you know, I don't like change. So I do have it on glow. Auto replace skin because I do like my skins on my weapons. Default firing mode is full auto for everything, uh, even for the DMR because, um, you know, for the DMR, I need the full auto MK spray. And I don't normally, you know, dub, or what is that called? I don't normally, you know, double or single tap anything. The only reason why the secondary default firing mode for SMGs and ARs are single is for the M16 and the and the mk mutant tpp can aim camera position is always reset to right shoulder because that's what it was originally um i never really messed with anything like that auto reload is on this is money for beginning of the game so then like you know how i have to hold the x button now in order to reload but if you have an empty clip you just hit the right trigger and it automatically reloads for you this helps out for you know if you're in a hectic gun battle and everything and you run out of ammo and you don't notice it your character will automatically reload once your your clip goes to zero auto equip attachment so i don't have to like you know search search through them auto equip scopes i only do the sights only which means it's only gonna auto equip my red dot or my hollow auto replacement chance wrench is enabled hide helmet is enabled because you know i have a hat on so it looks more clean in my point of view that way radio message is on radio message preset is option two doesn't really matter radio quick ping is enabled so then i could just quickly hit my right stick to ping where i'm seeing other people continuous items is on bandages only camera speed for observer this is new well i guess the default is at 10 so it's at 10. Uh, player tag is observer is enabled weapon tag enabled x-ray enabled damage indicator enabled smoke grenade timer is disabled yeah these are all new the observer is all new i always have my death cam on for enabled i heard if you disable it as well you're less likely to crash but i hardly any crash anyway since i'm on the series x but i do have it enabled here um just because if i have any fishy deaths or anything i just want to see if they're like underneath a rock or anything audio is all 100 except i disabled my music and graphics my field of view is at 103 so i could see more you know out there brightness is at 100 for all maps and my graphics mode is at frame rate priority so i could have that stable 60 frames per second anyway this video has been 10 minutes long what the hell 
I did not intend it to be that long. Luckily, I showed you guys my sensitivity settings in the beginning. If you guys do enjoy my sensitivity settings, if you guys want to try out, again, this is my sensitivity settings. This is what I'm comfortable with. This is not the best for everybody, but then it's a good starting point if you are struggling with your sensitivity settings. Anyway, stay beautiful, everybody. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm Brent Bryson 15. That's where I do my live, my live streams and stuff for PUBG and zombies. And I'll catch you guys in the next video and or live streams. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Slug Nation out. Bye-bye, guys.